Sports leader none, Alexandra Vitale. It's SEC championship time in Atlanta. Number three, Auburn taking on number five, Missouri. Now jumping the gun a little bit here, talking some what ifs about the BCS. Auburn or Missouri need some help, likely from Michigan State to land a spot in Pasadena. But if either Ohio State or Florida State loses, the SEC game winner is headed to Pasadena. If the two main undefeated teams punch their tickets to the BCS National Championship game, then the SEC game winner has a conference championship no one saw coming and a berth in the Sugar Bowl. But before we talk about any more what ifs, here's a look at the current score. Auburn leading 28 to 27 going into the third quarter. Dave is at the game, and we will have much, much more on that game later on tonight at 11. You know, it's night and day what head coach Gus Malzahn has done to the Auburn University football program, completely turning the Tigers season around, going 11-1 and this season. Last night, right before the game today, Athletic Director Jay Jacobs announced a six-year contract extension for Malzahn. The new contract makes his base salary $3.85 million next year with it escalating by $250,000 each year until the final year in 2019 in which he'll be making $5.1 million. The former Auburn assistant and Arkansas State head coach was hired December 4, 2012. Former coach Gene Chizik was fired after a 3-9 season. All right, let's talk about some high school football. When I spoke with the Marion County Eagles earlier this week, they told me they wanted to go to the Georgia Dome to play for a state title. And last night in the semifinals, they certainly played like they wanted to go to that game. It was a game the Eagles took control of from the start. Lorenzo Smothers got things going in the first quarter with that pick six. He returned it for a touchdown and set the pace for the entire night. Marion County didn't just win last night, they dominated Hawkinsville 40 to seven. And when asked what was going through their minds going into that game, the answer was very simple. The dome, baby, that's how we, that's how we vision, the dome. That's how we've been won, now we going. I knew my team needed me tonight, so I stepped up. Coach Swain told me that we gonna have to step up tonight to get what we want, so I played hard for my team. The key, both teams going into the game are going to be excited just to play where the Falcons play and play for the state championship and play for the ring. There are a lot of things on the line. Getting us pumped up is not going to be a problem. The problem is, is that we got to settle down, get back into our game just like we did this week. We knew we had a lot on the line, but we got back in our mode, what we usually play with. We got back in our zone, and then we took care of business. We got to do the same thing next week. We got to just calm down and keep rolling and keep making big things happen on the field, and we'll get the state championship. I think that's the key. I told him before the game. I said, you've got a chance to do something that very few high school players get to experience. Right, there's 457 football teams in Georgia, and there was only 24 of us playing tonight. And I tell you, I, they, just, they just wanted it. I mean, they wanted it, and, and they're going to play hard when we get there, I believe. Hey, hold up. I need a replacement for this right here. The Eagles will play next Saturday for the state title at 1130 at the Georgia Dome. That's a look at sports. Roslyn.